Check this out. The gorgeous Winchester Model 94AE 3030. Lever action goodness. Beautiful gun. However, there is a glaring problem with this gun. You Winchester guys probably know what it is. The dreaded Winchester cross bolt safety. Yep, the hammer is no longer your safety. This gizmo is your safety. Oh, that's ugly. Let me zoom in on it here. Why, oh why did Winchester do that? It already has a safety. It's called the hammer. And that, that gun's not going to fire. If your finger's not in the trigger here, that hammer's not going forward. If you press the trigger, the hammer can go forward. But it's already safe. That's your safety right there. Just leave your hammer down. Uh, leave your hammer down. You're good. But no, we get this little cross bolt thing. If that's depressed, it's not going to go down. Pull the trigger or not, it's not going to go down. The worst part is, you line up your nice shot, your nice shot at the range, your nice shot, worse, out hunting. Hey, it's the prize buck. And pull the trigger. Yeah, the hammer dropped. But guess what? The round didn't go off. Your safety was on. Ha <laughs> ha. And yes, there's nothing in the chamber here. Don't do anything stupid. So I got to doing my research, thinking I can't be the only one that got this thing. It was like, how do I get rid of it? So I searched around on the web, and I found a really cool article um, by gunblast.com. They talked about how to remove this, and the secondary part is once you get that removed, you're going to need to plug up these holes with something. So anyway, I'm doing a quick little video to show you how to get rid of that stupid safety. Okay, getting the cross bolt safety out is actually fairly easy. You just have to understand how it works here. There is a plunger that is underneath this cross bolt safety. So you just pushes back and forth. And what's making it click is a plunger. And that plunger was installed right through this hole here and actually goes underneath underneath the plunger and it's pushing up with the spring and there are two detents underneath here. Right straight down under this. To get this out, the easiest way I found is to rotate it. And to do that, you need to be right exactly in between these two detents. So just feel your way and just picture that plunger in between the two detents. Get it high and dry as possible. And then what we want to do is rotate the bolt this way, which is, you're not going to be able to do that. This is, this is too slick. But to do that, there's this flat surface here. And with a screwdriver, we're basically going to push on this end on, let's see here, we're going to push on this side right here. That's where we're going to put pressure. It's going to cause the bolt to rotate that way. That's the theory, and it should work out. So, oops, okay, you need to get it in between. You can have your hand just find it there. Press it flat on here, pressure on that side closest, closest to the firing pin here, and, nope, make sure it's high and dry. There, it clicked. What happened is that plunger popped out of its groove. So the next step is maybe rotate it now you can rotate a little bit more. See how it rotates? If you rotate it back, that, that plunger is going to snap back into position. But rotate it just a little bit this way. Get the plunger away from its groove and push it out in this direction. And there is a plunger and spring underneath that's going to pop out. This rifle, it did not launch across the room, but you might want to be careful. Just if you covered up this hole, then nothing's gonna, nothing is gonna pop out. So I'll just cover up that hole. And then pull this out, click, bolt fell out. And there is still a spring and plunger in there, but the bolt fell right out, cross bolt. 
and your spring and plunger you can probably see it down in there see the plunger sticking out and from this side you're really going to be able to see it see it was pressed down to the rifle now it's now it's popping out to get this out we just we're just gonna have it go straight out this way no, I didn't want to just fall out, but we'll just grab it here. The spring, just keep pushing it out. There. There it fell out. Spring and plunger. And there it's all, all apart. One thing that might happen, the plunger might become disconnected from the spring. If that happens, you're going to have to fish the spring out. It's not hard, but you're going to have to find, going from the top, find this top hole, and you're going to have to reach down in there and with kind of a, a hooking action take a paper clip reach down in here and just kind of hook it out of there and maybe you'll get just a little bit of it peeking up into this hole and if you get it that far you'll be able to just grab it and pull it pull it the rest of the way out not too hard so that's it that's how you get the cross bolt safety out it's not that difficult one thing just to to make it a little bit more clear here's what's actually happening on the inside you've got your plunger and here are the two detents so when you're going back and forth this spring is pushing this plunger into this detents click 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 when you're going in the middle high and dry you're getting on this little ridge here and when you're on that little ridge it's relatively easy to just rotate it out if you're in one of these detents there's no way you're not going to rotate that you, you would break this but when it's right here it's rotated out so that's how you get the bolt out not too bad okay so you have your cross bolt safety out this is almost as ugly big giant hole in your rifle and it looks pretty crummy well, the, uh, the article I read from gunglass.com recommended this, which is a, let's see, get it in here, a quarter inch nylon hole plug. The guy that wrote the article said, you just push that into the hole, and at least from his testing, it's, it's never come out. So, I'm gonna give it a try. It's a nice black color. Okay, just take this, find the hole here, clicked right in, doesn't look bad, it's not immediately falling out, it's not super secure, but it's in there, and the other side, we'll grab another plug here. Now I found these at a, a local hardware store. I don't know how easy they are to find. I think I checked uh, Home Depot. I don't think I found them at Home Depot. It was kind of a different store. I think like Ace Hardware is probably a good bet, especially if you have a kind of a local one that keeps good stock. So we'll put this one into this hole. Click it in. Nice. That's looking pretty slick. Yeah, thanks to the to the writer at uh, gunblast.com came up with that. Pretty inexpensive too. Very nice. 